everybody, how's it going? Motor motion back again. I'm uh, just out giving the bike a bit of a test ride with its uh, new arrow exhaust on to see how she goes. And uh, first thing I noticed when I fitted it was uh, oh, she got a, a lot more noise to her now and uh, sounds revs up uh, quite a bit more freely quite nice yeah I quite like it boy seems to want to get up and go a little bit better and it has made quite a large difference in my like 45 to 75 acceleration it is much better now climbing up hills like this before normally it wouldn't go past 55 and now it will happily sit at mid 60s so it has made a nice bit of difference and for a mod that only cost me 100 quid for, for, for four stroke tuning that's quite good value for money it's not often you get that sort of increase uh, such a little spend out on a 125 anyway on a bigger four stroke then yeah maybe so but on one this size no but yeah I'm really happy with it and it means my um <laughs> well, top speed's now been increased a little bit and it's uh, it, it'll get from its like, it used to get to 50 and then hit a brick wall and it would just creep up but now it doesn't it used to hit the, get 50 and it hit a brick wall and it would just creep to 70 now it keeps pulling all the way until 70 and then it hits a bit of brick, brick wall so it has, it has done a uh, good bit of difference considering it adds about half a brake it's made a fairly large difference so I'm happy with it it'll added just the power I wanted for me holiday ride all them long fast day roads which tends to be quite tricky on a one two five but yeah, I'd recommend it to any, anybody that's got themselves a uh, WR. Don't hesitate, go out and get it. The next one on the list will be the uh, NCAN for it. But I've got to wait for a little bit. That's uh, 200 and some quid. Uh, a lot of money. Actually, it costs the same amount for an NCAN for this as it, as it does for a fucking Hon a Honda Hornet 600. Ridiculous. Does don't make sense. But I'll get there at some point. The uh, next thing that's on the uh, shopping list I'll be ordering next week on a payday is a new sports uh, like bubble type screen for it and. Uh, for when I go away so it's got a bit more wind deflection I ain't catching it in the chest for such a long ride uh, and also I'm going to be uh, placing an order for a set of hand guards for it keep some of the wind off my hands and uh, make the bike a little bit more aerodynamic well as much as you can on a 125 Supermoto anyway, they're not exactly Gulf Aerodynamics really are they? Come on Daisy! Number three, four, five. Oh. Oh, 
there. That's it. New hangar to the new screen. I should probably be doing a uh, unboxing and uh, fitting video with them as well, just like I uh, did with the pipe. Because uh, my plan is to kind of diversify my channel a little bit. So it's not it's a bit more than just the odd vlog and observation videos uh, and do some unboxings in instead because I'm sure some people would like to see them I mean I know myself in the past I've, I've searched YouTube for a fair few unboxing and review videos so if they help people out then it's all good with me Plus, I, 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 I want to stop doing the. I kind of want to stop doing the observation videos because I, I catch so much fucking flack for them. It's kind of. It takes the fun out of it a little bit. You put all this effort into editing it, like recording all the clips and sort watching through them all, finding spots that you want to use and so on. And then doing the editing and going through on my on my computer a fucking 12 hour upload process and then as soon as you've done that some keyboard will be a cunt and you know who you fucking are decide that they're now a driving instructor and they all know fucking best so yeah I'm going to try and knock them on the head if I can, I think. I might do the occasional one, but... Yeah, uh, going to be biting the dust, I think. Wee, wee. I'm trying to get the angle of leaning the bike a bit more. Try and get them chicken strips down a bit. I uh, rounded the tyres off her. Uh, I've well, flattened the tyres off quite a lot through the winter because of rain and so on and not being able to lean it in the wet and my tyres are pretty much fucking square now so I'm trying to lean it a bit to get the bastards to round back off oh yeah oh well that's another mod that's come in set of BT20 EVO uh, Battle Axe tyres Bridgestones Super softs, so they <laughs> they should improve the bike a nice bit. Yeah. Anyway, I'm kind of rambling now, so I'll uh, I'll let you all, all you guys head off. So I'll catch you later. Motor motion. Sign out.